Hey guys, what up? SpiritMongo187 here. Welcome back for a new match of Hearthstone. Where we are trying to push up the ladder. The new season just started in September. So we're trying to get at least to the top 10 ranks. We've never been there before because we haven't played for a long time. So And we're doing pretty well at this moment. Rank 12 with this uh, Warlock deck. Let's see what we have here. This is okay, correct. It's normally I would get rid of the the all, but I do think we want to keep it this time. No, no, I don't want to keep it. Let's get rid of it all. I want some turn one drops. So this is a very cheap deck to build with uh, very good cards in it. So let's get started here. Against this priest. Greetings. Let's see how far he can come. This is sometimes a difficult matchup because he has a lot of healing cards in his deck. But we'll give it a try. I haven't seen Priest for, for a long time. Most of the time I see Hunters over here, other Warlocks. Um, yeah, that's it, I think. I haven't seen Rogue lately. Shaman, I've seen one Shaman on rank 13. The next turn we can bring out this Harvest Golem, pump him up a little bit. And if the Harvest Golem dies, doesn't matter, the Spider as well, the Hunter Creeper. And we're always trying to combo this one with Knife Juggler. But sometimes you just have to play it like this. It's just a very good turn 2 drop. This is one of the one of the better cards from the new sets. All of the cards are pretty good from the new set. But this is one. I like very much. He just does so much. Uh, it only costs two resources, two mana. It's a one-two ally. And when he dies, you can do two damage with it. So yeah, you see uh, a lot of people play. Luckily, it doesn't spawn two little beasts. Okay, here comes a Pyromancer. And he stays alive. Damage. He's going to deal some more damage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There goes my board. One more coin. Okay. Well, that's a pretty rough play, but as you see, we still managed to oh, stay a little bit alive, okay. but we have to take care of these guys, so. Um, yeah, we'll just play a new one, another one, and we'll. Finish off the Pyromancer and the Cleric, and he has already played his ring. By a coin, coin, ring, what did I say? He already played his coin, so no Holy Nova this turn. Here comes the Swamp Ooze. He's going to top up himself. Okay, so if he wants to play that. Uh, that card, we won't give him a nasty choice. Let's just do this, do this. So if he's going to play the Holy Nova now, he, he gets to 8-8 eight, eight, uh, Nerubian's uh, eggs in his face. 2-4-4, four, four, excuse me. Nice. But these guys are already pretty scary. What the? How much is this? 10? 12 17 damage That's not lethal but um, Let's get this one out Yeah he's dead now Now he's dead You can see how quick that goes man And he did a really good trick with the Spiromancer and his uh, all of that healing stuff and playing free spells, but in the end, I came back pretty good with this deck. So one more star we need for the rank 11. I've already been at this spot with uh, where I needed one star, but uh, I screwed up a little bit. And you can't win everything, right? And I played with the priest myself for, and then I lost two stars. Pretty close matches, but I lost two stars. Okay, this town guy is okay, but I think we're going for the egg on turn 2. Maybe we want to keep this one. 
as well. We got the coin. Yeah, we got the coin, so let's keep this. Drop these two. Oh, that's nice. That's nice as well. But I do believe... I always try to hold down the knife chakra. So let's just stick to our original plan. Drop these two guys. And we'll see what happens. And you see so many hunters. It's just unbelievable. And none of the cards are really overpowered or something, but it's the combination that makes the hunter oh, that's nice. Uh, really good. So what are we going to cast now? I think the hunted creeper would be the best possibility. I think. So yeah. So next turn I even if he plays an ally I can kill my own hunted creeper. And in combination with the knife juggler, deal some additional damage. Because this one would only add one more damage than what what I did right now. Okay, so that's scary. Let's play the knife juggler. Hit him in the face. Spawn two allies. One. Two. Okay. No lethal. Let's get in here. And hit him in the face for some more. Okay, if he has a if he has a trap, the flaming trap. Now I'm gonna be a, a bad time. But sometimes you just have to go all in, just like this. Let's see here. Do you want to kill that spider? You could kill it. Mm -hmm. Why would we want to get it? We don't want to get it. Right? Nope. It only deals one damage now. If the egg breaks, it's going to deal some more damage. Look at this. This is insane. This is turn 4. He's already at 9. But if something happens, my board is screwed, man. But we do have a decent backup over here. His card. There he goes. Well, that was easy. Well, we're at rank 11 right now. Two stars. So let's do one more. One quick more game. Let's see if we can make it out in rank 11. Get some bonus stars. So yeah, this is a pretty cheap deck to create. I'll just uh, open the collection tab. Open. I will show you the deck list. Uh, maybe you try it for out for yourself. Uh, let's see. We're in the mirror match, so we do want to turn one drop. I want this guy later on. This guy's actually very good against the mirror match. I don't want this to turn one. You know. Why do I get this one? Nice, 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 nice. That's very good against the mirror match. I do think he's playing uh, Zoo or something, whatever it's called nowadays. If he plays Handlock, uh, I played against Handlock one time. I brought him down pretty far. Yeah, this is Handlock again. I brought him down really far, but not far enough so probably he's going to give him taunt next turn or the turn after that we're going to sign as his own ability and as a 4-5 at play that's sick okay let's see what are we going to do about this you know 3-4 damage that's not enough so we still have to play some my allies okay, let's just shall we kill him Yep, let's do that. Let's get some small allies on the board right now. But we do have to watch out for... I do believe you got a card deal 3 damage to all characters, but I think it costs 4 mana. Well, don't blame me for not knowing that, because I just started up Hearthstone again. 
I'm playing it for what is it three weeks again since the beta I when it released got released I played it some matches but not that many okay let's see we're going to get these guys a decent buff who do you want to give it free damage to all characters let's give it to those guys these guys are the best so up eat it maybe I should fl drop it here because now it's going to pick up my stronger guys hmm we'll see I think this is going to be a uh, I lost but wow that's that's harsh okay well we can still make it straw card play this play that hit him in the face uh, we should play another uh, abusive sharding but maybe you can save it for something really scary yeah we want to silence that definitely let's play another one Let's give him the full force. I will give him the full force. Six, eight, nine, ten. Ten damage. He goes to six. Nope. We don't do that yet. Probably he's going to play something to clear my board again. I hope not. Here comes a giant. Please don't give him taunt. Nope. Going to draw a card. Yes, he got him. This sucks. Okay, that's nice, uh, but it still sucks. Let's see, we do want to get him. some additional strength, some more. One item in the face. We do want to hit him. See here. Oh, good. Fight. This one still summons a nasty one. No, it does not. Silence. Okay. Got about that. Two, three. Oh my god, what? The card only got four. Hmm. Made some mistakes over there. That's a waste. Set them in the face. Otherwise he would be down to four and then he would be in reach of uh, a soul fire. But that would be so much better and uh, of a doom guard. So I made it a big mistake over there. That That's a huge mistake. I buffed him too much. That two damage can make a lot of difference. But I don't think he can clear the board right now, because otherwise he would have played it, right? So many possibilities. Those decks should play at least a Doom Slayer or something, was it? Doom Bringer? The 2 8 Town Guy, 3 mana. And if he dies, your opponents get to play a card from the deck or something, an ally from the deck is uh, put into play. I think that's a good card for handlock. Or I don't even know if this is handlock, but <laughs> let's see what's he going to do here. We can deal 3 to him next turn, then we have 4 damage in his face. Yep, that's a kill. Kill confirmed. That's skill confirmed. GG. Thank you. So yeah, this deck works pretty well. Up to 10 and rank 10. Already. I have to just start playing this deck since Friday I played a few games. Today I played a few games. So let's check it out. Let's go to my collection. And uh, this 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 guy over here, rush rush. 
So we play two Soul Fire, really decent card. Uh, Power of Overwhelming, you can combine this with the Egg. Where do we have it? Where's the Egg? Here, Nerubian Egg. It's pretty nice to combine that with this guy to destroy your own Egg and deal a lot of damage. Fuse of Sergeant, nothing wrong to say about that. Uh, Argent Squire, very nice. You can trade two cards with it while well, she dies, so she's pretty good. And most of the time, she just stay on the board if he clears everything. So, Lepernome is always good for some damage. If you play turn one, turn two, it dies. It has done sometimes four, maybe six damage for one card, and it only costs one mana, so that's nice. Undertaker uh, benefits from all the dead rattle cards in the deck, so that's uh, Leopard Gnome. Haunted Creeper, uh, Nabooroon Egg, Harvest Golem, so it's got a lot to uh, to its advantage. Fault Walker, it's just a good card. One Tree Town, you can play this when you have some other allies, small allies, and play. Uh, Dire Wolves, yeah, it just boosts up your other allies. Haunted Creeper, very, very good card. Iron Break Isle, I would love to play two of these guys in this deck, but I just don't know what card I would take out. Maybe one Defender of Argus, but that's also a pretty nice card to boost up your allies so they can survive a Consecrate. Consecrate or uh, a Holy Fire. Holy, what is it called? Uh, the Priest card. Five mana, deal two damage to all enemies. Um, knife Juggler, very, very, very good card. Um, yeah, it's really nice to combine this with Haunted Creeper when you have the, both of them in play. You just destroy your own haunted creeper or something and you just get to do two, two random shots or well, the egg yeah we have the harvest golem no doubt about that the dark iron dwarf 4-4 four, four, and it just buffs up your ally so it can destroy another ally or do some damage this is nice for your taunt up and doom guard he really saves the day he, he's just your Leroy Jenkins 2.0 so uh, yeah he's just to finish things off and a very nice card but sometimes I draw in both of them and that really sucks because then you know when uh, he dies or you just can make it with him uh, you have no really answer left in your deck except for these soul fire rings to finish something off but that's it guys I hope you liked this video do not forget to like subscribe comment and we'll see you next match cheers